Hi everyone and welcome to the first episode of a brand new series on this channel that I am calling Coffee in a Flat Cap. Uh, it's basically where I'll sit down with a cup of coffee and talk about mental health, more specifically ways and tips and tricks that I've picked up along the way of my journey with mental health that might help you just improve your well-being and hopefully improve the way you're feeling and just generally again improve your mental health so if you or a loved one um, are struggling at the moment with your mental health please stick around uh, you might learn something and hopefully you might start to feel a little bit better so this might be a bit long so please pause make yourself a cup of coffee or a cup of tea get comfortable and let's begin Firstly, before we get into the bones of this episode, I just want to point out that I am not a, a, a trained mental health professional. I am just someone who has suffered with mental illnesses, varying mental illnesses, for the past 14 years. Um, I've, you know, I've, I've been down as far as you can go. I, you know, to the point where. I spent nearly two months in a psychiatric unit. So please bear in mind that I am not a trained mental health professional. These are just little helpful tips and tricks and a little bit of advice that I've picked up along those 14 years. So this episode, I really want to talk about music and how music has had a big impact on my mental health. Um, and I'm a true believer that music is a healer. Um, I mentioned in the intro of this video that I spent nearly two months in a psychiatric unit, music was my main focus. That was what really made that time much better for me. Um, I, <laughs> I used to only listen to metal. I used to think that anything other than metal was just rubbish. But as I got older, my taste changed. And now the vast majority of the music I listen to is synth wave and synth pop. And that again has had a massive impact on the way that I feel. Um, listening to metal, it's okay. You know, it's fine, I'll, I'll still listen to it. But I did notice a massive increase or a massive improvement in my mental health when I stopped listening to what I'd been listening to for like 20 odd years and moved into something else and that's not a bad thing change is not a bad thing it can be for some people but for me it's it's not a bad thing i used to go to a lot of gigs uh, i've been to many many gigs mainly heavy metal gigs um i did however see gorillas at the brighton center and that was just fantastic so music for me as i say is a great healer if i'm feeling depressed or feeling a bit anxious about something, I'll put my headphones on and I'll just sit and listen to music for a few hours. And I rarely go outside or go for a walk without listening to music. So that is, um, I guess it's like a coping mechanism for me and it could be a coping mechanism for you too. So if you're feeling anxious about going outside for a walk or to go to the shops, put your headphones on drown out the, the rest of the world and just focus on yourself and your mission for what you've got planned for the day. So just to back up what I was saying about music being good for your mental health, there's an article I've got up in front of me. I'll leave a link to it down in the description below. Uh, it's from NAMI.org. Personally, I've never heard of them, but we'll see. So I've got a little bit of it in up in front of me now. It says research shows the benefits of music therapy for various mental health conditions including depression, trauma, and schizophrenia, to name a few. Music, music acts as a medium for processing emotions, trauma, and grief, but music can also be utilized as a regulating or calming agent for anxiety or dysregulation. So I definitely use music as a calming agent for anxiety. Um, I've, I've mentioned that previously in the video, and yeah, it's just a massive help to me. Um, just a really massive help and as I say I listen to music in bed sometimes when I'm struggling to sleep I put on a bit of calming music um, and it sometimes well I mean most of the times it does generally help me sleep 
Um, however, I will say, if you do use that method to help you sleep, please try and be conscious of the volume you're listening to your music at. Um, because if you damage your hearing, it, it, you can't undamage it. Um, there's been occasions where I've listened to music in bed at loud, really, really loud volume and I've woken up in the morning and my ears have been ringing and that is massively bad and that is such a stupid move on my behalf so please don't do that. There is a new thing on my phone that I found out. If you listen to loud music, I think it's on your headphones for more than seven days at a time, your phone will automatically drop the volume down and if you try to put the volume back up, it will play for a couple of minutes and then it will drop back down again automatically. And I personally, I think that's brilliant. Like, it's, it's looking after you, which is what you need to do as well. As I said previously in the video, change is not necessarily a bad thing. So if you are one of those people who, like me, only used to listen to one genre of music, I will advise trying to branch out a bit. You never know, you might enjoy it and it might have the same effect as it had for me where you notice a significant improvement in your mental health just by changing one thing. I'm not saying it will work for you. As I say in the, at the intro of this video, this is just tips and tricks that I've picked up and that have helped me and I want to share them with you so you can hopefully have the same experience that I've had. My coffee's going gold. Gold, my coffee's going cold, I'm talking too much. Another thing I will point out is if a certain genre of music helps you, but you feel, I don't like it's a bit of a guilty pleasure and you don't want to tell people, that's completely fine. You don't have to. And if you like it and it works, then you don't need to change it. For example, uh, my guilty pleasure, I'm going to be honest here, this is going to be an honest series. Uh, my guilty pleasure yeah, is a little bit of pop music, like Katy Perry, Lady Gaga, that kind of thing. I've got no issue listening to that because it helps me. Um, so if you are like me and you've got a few guilty pleasures that work and that help you, stick to them. Stick to them because if they're helping, then it's working. I know my time in that psychiatric unit would have been a thousand times worse if I didn't have my Sony Walkman and a pair of headphones with me. Um, and music since then, and pretty much since I was um, at secondary school, has played a big part of my life. And I definitely, again, believe that music is a great healer. There have been studies that, you know, like I said earlier reading that study, it's been shown that it can in, improve your mental health and you can use it as different ways of dealing with your mental health. Um, again, I'll leave, I'll, I'll look for a few more articles and I'll read through all of them and I'll leave the links to them in the description so you can read them for yourselves. So I think really that's all I have to say about music and mental health. Um, again, I do want to make it absolutely clear that I am not a trained mental health professional. I am just someone giving you tips, tricks and advice on maybe how to deal better with your mental health. Um, uh, tips, tricks and advice basically that, that I've picked up along the way of my 14 years of suffering with mental illnesses. You know, I'm still taking medication to this day. Um, and I think, to be honest, I will probably be on certain medications for the rest of my life. Um, so again, I'm not a trained mental health professional. I want to make that absolutely clear. This is just a series of different ways that I've found out that have improved my mental health. And I really wanted to share them with a wider audience. And I hope this video has been at least a little bit helpful. Um, if it has, then that's fantastic. And until the next episode of Coffee in the Flat Cap, please remember you are not going through this alone and it will get better. Trust me, it will get better. So until the next episode, take care and have a lovely day.